My name is Sherry Honkala, and I'm from the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. Uh, I've worked with low-income families across this country my whole life, and uh, I have uh, worked in many different fast food and low-wage jobs. This struggle right now for $15 an hour and for the right to form a union is incredibly important uh, because it's about time that low-income people begin to stand up and demand a better future for themselves and for their families. We know that right now that the overall fight is either us or corporations and eventually you know the corporations are just gonna develop a conveyor belts in different ways to deliver food um, or cashiers that have lost their jobs because now they're scanning people can scan their own so there's a larger fight, which is do people get to feed, clothe, and house themselves and their family and live in the kind of world that we should all be able to live in based on whether or not they can sell their labor? And my answer is no, that we have to get together and figure out how to build a cooperative society where everybody gets to like uh, work together to feed, clothe, and house each other and where we can spend our time uh, caring for our families and contributing to society. Mother Jones, when she was in Kensington many years ago during the industrial period, um, she walked with children because they were losing their limbs in the factories on American Street. If Mother Jones was alive today, there would be no factories for her to march from. There would only be Wendy's and McDonald's and Popeye's and we don't have to live like that anymore and i think that fast food workers in this country and low-wage workers are standing up they're showing the kind of courage that's needed and we're going to win this thing and the thing that we're going to win is not just fifteen dollars an hour but a new society that takes care of each other